Hi, I'm Tech and my channel is Bootlosophy. Uh, today I'm going to show you an unboxing of my Grantstone Black Chrome XL diesel boots. I'll show you some uh, on-foot footage and then I'll give you a brief initial review of what I see in the boot on the first day. I'll then wear the boots for a few months and I'll come up with a, with a longer term review. So if you like what you see, please press the uh, like button, that will help me a lot. And then subscribe because I've got a lot more of these videos coming. This is my new arrival from Grant Stone, which I bought during the Black Friday 2021 sale, 25% off. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video, but telling you that it's Black Friday 2021 sale kind of dates it, but that's fine. I've opened the box. I'm always impressed by the, the overall breadth and depth of the Grant Stone experience from the website through to ordering, uh, through to, to, the, to the delivery uh, and, and onwards to the customer service. I've opened the, the end of it, um, I just wanted to check that I got the right end, but I figured out <laughs> the right end is with the Grantstone logo pointing up. But the reason why I wanted to show you the right end was, if you open it up, you'll see that there is the shoe box packed inside the packing box um, with extra cardboard to make sure it doesn't move around, but with a finger hole through which you can remove the shoe box. And as usual, the Grantstone experience um, carries on with the actual shoe box where it's, the cover sits flush with the side of the boot. It's been sort of built with a little lip. And then inside, it's, uh, there's a piece of cloth which I'm told you can use to stand on so that you don't scuff the uh, soles in case you have to return them when you're, when you're trying on your boots. Um, oh. I also bought in the Black Friday sale, 25% off, a Chrome XL Color 8 belt, but this being a boot video, I'll talk about that at some other time, particularly if you want to hear about it and leave a few comments behind. The uh, packaging comes with a uh, postcard, which tells you about uh, the initial fit and what, you, what to expect. Um, there's a QR code into a style forum so that you can see people talking about the boots. There's a thank you card signed by I think Parker, that might be, one of the three people in the uh, warehouse, shipping note. Um, the ubiquitous Grantstone free gift, they send you um, in this little pouch, spare laces, in this case black uh, flat waxed cotton laces, and the ubiquitous Grantstone shoehorn, um, combination bottle opener, be honest I'm not quite sure what tiny little shoe that you might use that on but it's it's great inside each boot is wrapped in its personal shoe bag um, I might leave that and in between each boot is a piece of foam so that they further don't shake and scratch each other I mean it's amazing packaging second boot so I bought in the sale the black Chrome XL diesel boot. Um, you can get the black Chrome XL, this is on a leather sole, you can get it, the black Chrome XL on a black day night light Grant Stone sole um, without the, the, uh, the leather welt, the leather natural welt. First impression as always is I'm so impressed by the quality of the leather. It's super thick. It's fully leather lined on the inside. Let me just check. Yep, the vamp, the tongue, the shaft, fully leather lined. Brass hardware, as I said, a, a uh, natural leather welt. I think that's a split reverse welt, so it comes up, flanges up the side of the boot for a little extra water resistance. Leather sole. Um, stitching is excellent, really nothing out of place. These will get beaten up eventually. Um, I, I intend to wear them for a slightly more formal use so they won't get beaten up as much. 
but the stitching is just perfect. And as always, you can play with Grant Stone the spot the welt joint game, because you can't. It's fitted so perfectly, and it's no overlap. Excellent piece of work. Really quite, quite thick feeling. I have uh, this boot in the Badalassi tan veg, saddle tan veg, and that's quite a thick leather. Chrome XL, in my experience with, say, Thursday boots, is a much more flexible leather. Uh, the Alden Indies, much more flexible leather. I think they seem to have chosen a thicker cut. I might just show you the... I don't know if you can see, but it's quite a thick cut of leather and then the lining. Um, it comes with these leather laces. I might swap them around because if I'm going to wear them for semi-formal. I, I wanted these rather than the all black rubber soles because I thought the framing of the black leather with that natural leather welt is quite striking. And a lot of people ask me whether I, you know, they see on my Instagram that um, I wear leather sole shoes and they ask me, you know, do I slip or do I like them? I've been wearing leather soles since I was 12 years old. So, you know, including nine years living in London, walking around icy pavements, I really don't have a problem. I find them very flexible. In this case, not so much because they're double leather um, uh, midsoles and a leather insole, uh, which makes it quite thick. You go, generally what I find is Grant Stone boots don't need any breaking in, uh, except for the sole. It's, it's a good solid sturdy sole, so you want to make sure that you're breaking it in where your uh, foot flexes. So, I will wear these for a few months and then I'll do a review of them after I've had them for a while. So that's it. Grant Stone's diesel boot in black chrome XL. So this is my um, on foot vision of the diesel boot in black chrome XL. Um, initial impressions extremely comfortable uh, as usual with Grant Stone they fit perfectly I, I can't see any break-in issues anywhere the uh, leather sole is fairly stiff it's a double um, leather sole outsole midsole and insole uh, so that's the only part that might be breaking in the chrome XL leather is creasing very nicely there is um, uh, I can't see any loose grain at all uh, and on foot, it just feels really good. So, through the magic of television, <laughs> I've been wearing these for a day now, and uh, having done the unboxing and some on-foot uh, footage, this is really um, my initial impressions. I'm going to wear these for a few months and then do a proper review, but what are my initial impressions of these boots? You know, uh, Grant Stone is always reliable. Once you've found your size, which I have mine, uh, an 8D, which is a half size down from my Brannock, um, everything works perfectly. You can be confident that if you're ordering boots on the Leo Last, which this is in, that they will always fit the same. That's not always true of um, every boot manufacturer because sometimes for the lasting process, a particular boot might be narrower or wider or looser or higher on the vamp. Grandstone is extremely reliable. As for the materials, very impressive. I've scuffed the uh, sole a little bit for the day's wear, mostly on carpet, but I had to go out. Um, solid leather sole. The Chrome XL, you know, they get excellent Chrome XL from Halloween, or the Grandstone clicking process is phenomenal. There is no loose grain whatsoever. There are some creases starting to appear, but that's Chrome XL. You know, they, they crease differently from um, the diesel boots in Battle Assy Saddle Tan Veg. That tends to roll. Um, the Chrome XL creases differently from uh, Horwin's Dublin leather, uh, which I have in Parkhurst boots. Um, they do tend to crease and, and patina quite quickly. 
In a chrome excel is often said to be a fragile kind of leather because you can scratch it and buff over it and um, but it will show marks this thing is phenomenal it's just really good solid leather thick and the clicking the choice of parts of the hide which they're taking in order to cut the the uh, uh, pattern is phenomenal it's really excellent the quality is magnificent as I said in the unboxing, there's not a stitch out of place. Everything is perfectly aligned. Um, there are no loose threads. What can I say? Initial impressions, two thumbs up. So that's the unboxing, on foot, and initial review of these Grantstone Diesel Boots in Black Chrome XL. If you like the video, I'd love it if you could press the like button below and why don't you subscribe so that when I come up with uh, the longer term review in a couple of months time, you can see how they've fared. And there are lots of other videos that I intend to put up. So subscribe and keep in touch.